Today we take a step-by-step -step approach to Facebook conversion ads. Regardless if you run conversion ads in the past or you consider yourself a conversion ads expert, you'll still want to check out this video because things have changed. Let's begin. Hey, it's Jaime. If we're just meeting, welcome to the channel that brings actionable content to grow your business through online marketing. So if that sounds beneficial, consider subscribing. Question of the day, are you using conversion ads? If not, what's holding you back? Let me know in the comment section down below. One of the reasons that many people avoid using Facebook conversion ads is because they don't fully understand how Facebook conversion ads even work. And on that same vein, people avoid running these types of ads because they require some additional setup that the other types of Facebook campaigns do not. So putting it simply, Facebook conversion ads are designed to track and magnify any meaningful action on your website. So regardless if you value leads or value sales, Facebook conversion ads are designed to track and optimize for both. So when it comes to setting up Facebook conversion ads, just remember there are four steps involved. First, you need to create a Facebook pixel. Second, you need to install that Facebook pixel. Third, you need to create a custom conversion. And then fourth, you need to create a Facebook conversion ad. All right, so let's knock out the first step and that's creating our Facebook pixel. And to do that, you're gonna go to the toolbar, go to all tools, go to pixels, and you're gonna see that I already have a Facebook pixel created. But don't worry, for you, if you haven't created a Facebook pixel, there's gonna be a big green button right here that says create pixel. You're gonna click on it. And then the next screen is gonna ask you, what do you wanna name the Facebook pixel? So you give it a name that's easy for you to identify. And then you're gonna to go to create. So for us, I'm just gonna to go to details and I'm gonna meet you on the other side, which is right here. This is the exact same screen that you have. So you're gonna have the option of if you have a Wix website, Squarespace website, a Shopify website, whatever website you have, you have the option of selecting this partner and go through the steps on injecting your code that way. We're not gonna do that today, but you have the option of if you have a website or a landing page generator or somebody that's partnered up with Facebook, you're gonna look for that partner integration right here and inject your code that way. So we're working on our second step, which we've already created the Facebook pixel. Now it's installing that pixel. So it goes by very quickly. But today we're gonna to go to manually add the Facebook code to the website. You can also email instructions to a developer, your web designer, your IT person, whoever handles your website. They'll just need the code so they can embed it on the back end. For us, we're gonna manually add it. So we're gonna select that. We're gonna left click it here. And then we're gonna to go to a landing page generator or your website, wherever you have your website that you're driving traffic to. We're gonna go here, we're gonna to go to settings. And then we're gonna replace this, which is another Facebook code. We're gonna replace that with this. So I just highlighted all of it. So let me just delete it so you see it. And then paste it in the head tracking code. This is where you want it. So this is assuming you have a ClickFunnels account. So I'm gonna move myself, I'm gonna save it. And now I've installed it on the entire funnel. It's very easy to go here to, at, specifically with ClickFunnels, go here, go to settings, go to tracking code and embed it here. That's not the correct way to do it. So notice that you don't. I don't have anything there. So don't fall into that mistake, make sure that it is on the header. So now that we've installed it, turn on all automatic uh, advanced matching, go to continue. You can use a Facebook event setup. So we're gonna go and use this. We're gonna go ahead and select an event. Why not? Open the website. It's gonna track. Notice that I took the landing page. I didn't take the thank you page or any other um, URL. It's gonna say, ba -ba -bum. all right, we're gonna go track new button. It says, send the, the list please. So this is a button that it tracked. So it caught it correctly. 
We're going to click on that. Select an event. They become a lead. Confirm. All right, so what we're doing right now is creating an event. And I'll show you how to create a custom conversion here in a bit. But just so you have events and you know what they, this looks like. So I just threw in a little bonus tip for you. We're going to finish the setup. We're going to finish. One quick favor before continuing, please be sure to hit the like button so this video's reach is magnified and others benefit. Also, don't forget to check out my free courses, link in the description. Test event, which is just going to require to open the website, which is what it did right there. It's receiving activity, so you know what you did is working. So you have an event, which is essentially it's the lead. When somebody clicks through and becomes a lead, Facebook will continue tracking that for you. So that's another way of um, tracking your results. But that's not the primary reason why we're here. The primary reason that we're here is to create our custom conversion. So as a recap, we just created our Facebook pixel, which I kind of showed, I kind of cheated, I already had one. And then we installed the Facebook pixel, which is what you saw over on ClickFunnels. Now we're gonna create our custom conversion. We're gonna go up here, go to all tools, and we're gonna click on custom conversions. We're working on that third aspect of creating a conversion. All right, so we're going to create a custom conversion. The beta pixel, so the pixel that we already, we've already we been working on. And we're going to say, include all URL traffic events that meet the following criteria. So this is the important part. Remember, in our funnel, we have our landing page. So we're driving the traffic over to the landing page. In this particular example, it's get a list of city homes. So get a list of Dallas homes. So we're offering a list of some kind. This is our landing page. The thank you page is a confirmation page. This is after they already gave us their information. So this URL is what they are asking for or what we, what we need to track right over here. So what we're saying is include all URL traffic events that meet the following criteria that contain this URL. So what we're telling Facebook is What's meaningful to us, because remember, this is a conversion, a custom conversion. We get to track website traffic that's meaningful to us. What's meaningful to us is those people that land on our thank you page because they became a lead. So, yes, we are going to put some stock into people that land here. But just because they land here doesn't mean that we're going to be making money because they haven't given us their information up until this point. The people that value to us the most are the people that are already gave us their information and progressed over to the thank you screen or the confirmation screen, which means that they gave us their information, i.e. they became a lead. So make sure that you have that distinction I, you know, solidified in your mind because this is what's important to us, this URL. And that's what we're creating the custom conversion around. All right, so we're going to say that was a buyer list of homes conversion. We're going to select that it was a lead. We're not going to attribute a value to it. We're going to create it. And we're going to go to done. All right. So we have finished that up. Now we're going to go back to ads manager. All right. So now we're getting ready to work on our fourth step, which is creating the conversion ads. All right. So now we're going to go to create. And this is the fun part. This is where we actually run an ad and note all of the work that we had to go through to get to select this conversions ad. The, all the other ones, you can just log into your ads manager and start running your ads from there. But this requires a bit more legwork. We went through it very quickly, but just know that it requires a bit more upfront investment in time. All right, so we're going to select it to housing ad. We're going to select conversions now that we have a working conversion. Not going to worry about the rest of it. And this is what we did all of the work for. If we did things right, this should have the buyer list of home conversion. So that's what we just created. And it is green, which means we are good to go. So we are doing everything in our power to track and optimize this particular conversion because it's meaningful to us. All right, so we're going to continue going. All right, we're not going to worry, worry about that too much. We're going to go to living in a certain place. So today we are going to advertise in New York. 
New York City. So we're going to have a bunch of people. All right. And since we're running an ad in the special ad category, notice that there's a few things that are locked down. We don't have the ability to do a lookalike audience. So we have the special ad audience. We are limited to a 15 mile radius. That's the smallest radius that we can get to. The age is locked down. The gender is locked down. The detail targeting, we don't have many demographics to work with. So since we are looking for buyers, we're going to go with somebody that has an interest in Zillow. So it took that 11 million to 2.5 million. That's still a lot of people, um, but we're okay with that. With the placements, what we're going to do is we're going to manually select our placements. In this particular campaign, we're only going to drive traffic or advertise through the Facebook newsfeed placement. So I'm going to unhighlight the rest of these and only advertise on the newsfeed. All right. So there we go. We're going to scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. Our daily budget, since we have a ton of people, we're not going to be able to, unless we have thousands of dollars, we're not going to be able to, be able to saturate that. So whatever daily budget you can afford, just go with that in this particular case. Continue. All right, so the name we're going to leave it the same. Our identity, so our Facebook page, we're going to leave it the same. We're not using an existing post or a mock-up. We're going to go from scratch. We're going to use a single image. And now we're going to select an image. Now that we have the image, we're going to select the text. So let's just say um, it was a list of homes on our conversion. So let's just say a tired of getting inaccurate data from Zillow because we highlighted they were interested in Zillow. Tired of getting inaccurate data from Zillow. How about going directly to the source? The MLS. Instantly download a list of homes under $500,000 in New York City, which I'm going to assume is very difficult, if not impossible. So instantly download a list of homes under $500,000 in NYC. Download list today, hot NYC homes. All right, then we would put our website URL. Well, in this case, I would just uh, use this one. Since that's where we're driving the traffic to, we just paste that there, backspace there, so it works. Perfect. Make sure that the Facebook pixel is on and press confirm and you've created a Facebook conversion ad. Well, now that you know how to run a Facebook conversion ad, how about I show you an ad that generated 50 leads using a conversion campaign? And that video is right here for your viewing pleasure. And if you found value today, please be sure to subscribe so we can talk again soon.